Hey guys, in this video I will be talking about why I decided to do a DIY or do-it-yourself FMT at home. Hey guys, so today like I mentioned earlier we are going to be discussing why I decided to move forward with an FMT. So I suffer from several different order disorders. I've got chronic constipation which has led to a lot of different bowel disorders as well as hemorrhoids um, and I also have an autoimmune disease and disorders that the doctors don't know just yet why. So the main reason why I've decided to do an FMT though is because of my chronic idiopathic urticaria, and that means chronic hives. And chronic hives means that you have hives with an unknown cause for more than six weeks. Now I've done all the allergy tests, I've seen thousands of doctors, and what happens is they end up putting me on more medications. I've been on a steroid, a high level of a steroid now for about nine to 10 months, and that is hurting me more than the hives as well as my other autoimmune disorders are. In addition to that, the doctor, the last time I went, she said my calcium levels were off the chart. And I'm hoping that's not because the majority of what I eat is like broccoli and kale and all the greens, because that would be absurd to be only mainly eating vegetables and it to be causing you to be sick. So I have done a sequence of diets, such as the sugar-free diet for chronic urticaria. Um, and I saw progress with that for a little bit and then I saw a relapse. So I am still sticking with a lower sugar diet, not super extreme like I was going because I was thinking, oh, maybe it could be a candida overgrowth. That's something that the doctors also don't check. So number one, when I went in for my chronic urticaria, I, I, I've had it before in the past, but they, of course, did the normal regimen, oh, continue to give me medications. I asked if there's any specific foods I should be avoiding, which I know for me personally, there are specific foods I should be avoiding. And of course they say, no, there's no limitation on diet. But when, as I started doing more research, I learned that the immune system functions from the gut. Pretty much a lot of things function from the gut. Now, rather than just saying, oh, it's some un unknown cause from the immune system, why not actually check what functions the immune system, the gut? So I started getting way more intrigued with the gut, started reading all about it and doing a lot of different research. And that's how I came across the idea to do an FMT. Um, now I did it at home with my boyfriend's stool and it was just the other day, but I am hoping to see progress. Guys, like this video, follow me, subscribe, click the notifications bell for more information and to see my progress and how the FMT goes for those specific disorders. Hope you guys have a good one. Thanks, bye.